This is another Enable America service, a job readiness workshop for disabled veterans. Human resource professionals meet in groups and in one-on-one -on -one sessions to help disabled veterans sharpen the skills they need to compete for jobs. Veterans like George Williams, who served in the Navy, but is now working toward a career in occupational health and safety. I believe with my success from the military, that I can be successful in a civilian company. Enable America is a great vehicle that will allow opportunities for our communities, businesses, and military and veterans families and all families to coordinate. We're here to build a bridge, to be the connectors, to provide the resources. We can get it done, how? By working together. You're watching Hiring America. We're joined by Chris Jaddick, the executive director of Enable America. The organization's goal is to increase employment among Americans with disabilities. It's a prime resource for employers who want to add wounded veterans to their workplace. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So tell us about Enable America and the kind of work you do. The best way to describe Enable America is we are bridge builders. We build a path between that population of wounded warriors, disabled veterans, and employers who want to hire them. And what are some of the biggest difficulties that disabled veterans face when looking for a job? I think a lot of it may be uh, sort of a cultural understanding. A lot of the people who we're dealing with may have joined the military right out of high school. Uh, they may never have had a job in the civilian workforce. Uh, they may have uh, intended to work in the military and make it their career. But because of circumstances, because of their disability, many times they have to transition out into a world they had not anticipated they were going to get into. And so uh, understanding what it's like, competing in that civilian workforce, which is very competitive right now and very difficult, can be daunting to them. Uh, we know that they bring great skills, they bring discipline, they bring training, but a lot of times those skills aren't readily transferable into the employment world that civilians are used to. So HR people will look at that and say, okay, you were a private first class and you did bomb detonation, you did this, but I need a guy who has these computer type of skills. What we try to do is enhance the visibility of the veteran, bring out what their real qualities are because employers know that they value them, but they have a hard time getting their hands around, okay, how do those military skills transition to what I need to make sure that I'm meeting the bottom line? And when we think of wounded warriors, we often think of a, a wounded leg. But in actuality, it's so much more a case of mental issues as well. That's correct. I mean, TBI, PTSDs, I mean, these are the head injuries. Uh, it, it's been called, you know, the signature wound of the Iraq and Afghanistan conflict. So uh, many of our participants, the disabled veterans, the wounded warriors, uh, they have uh, disabilities that are not readily apparent. Doesn't mean they're not qualified for the workforce, but you're used to seeing somebody say, a person has lost a limb or, you know, might have another disability. Certainly those people are out there. But increasingly, uh, as you mentioned, many of the disabilities are not necessarily apparent, and yet there are still people who need our support and need our help. And a lot of employers want to to hire disabled veterans, but they're concerned about how they might make that transition. That's something you help them through. That's something too. I mean, I think what's great about Enable America is it's very easy to get engaged with our organization. Uh, we don't come to a company and immediately ask for you. It's not a fee for service type of a thing where, you know, you have to pay us before we're going to do things. I mean, we're a nonprofit committed to improving the employment opportunity for veterans and wounded warriors. We merely need employers who want to engage with our organization and get involved with it. Uh, so you know, the big benefit is we can build that connection through through our ability to connect to the military population as we've done at Fort Bragg, as we've done at Fort Belvoir. In fact, we even work at, at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center up there in Bethesda. Uh, we have great access to that population, which is growing. I mean, we uh, our numbers tell us that 300,000 veterans per year are going to be transitioning from the military into the civilian workforce every year for the next five years. So that's one and a half million. And many of them have disabilities. Up to 65% have some form of disability. So there's certainly a great need for the population we serve. What kinds of specific challenges that disabled veterans have that you're able to help them overcome? I think uh, a level of confidence is probably one of the most specific ones that we have. Uh, not being used to what it's like to compete for a civilian job, feeling that you don't have the correct training, uh, having to meet n new people and, and, and doing this many times on your own in a non-structured environment can be daunting. We give them that confidence uh, and just that introduction, that chance to network and experience what it's like to work in the civilian workplace, even if only for a day, for a mentoring experience, or deal with a human resource manager before you have that actual job interview helps build your confidence to go out there and actually look for a job. So we may find our participants go out and find employment 
on their own, which is what we want them to do because we're not, we're not a placement agency. We're not looking to, to hold their hand every step of the way. If anything, we're giving them a hand up to go out and achieve the American dream. And that's really the message, right? A hand up, not a hand down, because there are so many charitable organizations for disabled veterans, but this is really saying, no, you can do this. We're going to help you get there. That is correct. I mean, Enable America is here because of our founder, uh, Mr. Richard Salem, who's a, a native of North Carolina. And uh, Mr. Salem recognized, uh, you know, after a very successful law career, that there was no organization fully committed to improving employment opportunities for people with disabilities. Just as he had received support and a hand up, not a hand out, himself, he recognized there was great need in the disability population for these types of services. And that's why we're here today. When I took that first step myself and took that deep breath to go out of my room for the first time after I'd lost my sight, I knew there was no turning back. So what do both companies and veterans do if they're interested in finding out more information about Enable America? Well, the easiest way to engage with us, first of all, is to go to our website, enableamerica.org. Uh, there you'll find success stories, you'll find more information about our programs, and most importantly, you'll find out how you contact us. Companies, we definitely want companies to contact us. If what you hear today is something you say, I want my company to be involved in that, I want to learn more about you, we encourage you to reach out to us. Those in the military, especially those who might be handling uh, you know, the Wounded Warrior uh, Transition Brigade, who uh, might be having a population somewhere and have not uh, heard of our services before, we're happy to put you in touch with the other people in the military who we've worked with, because perhaps we have services that can serve your population as well. It only serves your company better to have an initiative that reaches out to this population because you're going to be strengthening your workforce. It is not charity, as we say. It really is not charity. It's good business to have people like this in your workforce. You'll be a better business for it. Okay, really interesting perspective. Thanks so much for joining us, Chris Jaddick of Enable America. Thank you.